Hey, what's going on YouTube families? James here and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to find that right deal for your real estate portfolio. What do I mean by that? By the right deal? I mean, does it cash flow? Is there equity in there? And is a tenant going to be renting out that property within the next week of you buying the property? Because as you know, if you've been following here, uh, here on this YouTube channel on my journey, that both of my properties, I got tenants in there within three days each property within three days of me closing on the property. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing the secret on how I did that, so stay tuned. So this is gonna be a step-by-step -step kind of tutorial. So you're gonna to wanna to stay, tuned to stay tuned towards the end because that's whenever I reveal you know, how I got tenants in there within three days of me closing. All right, so the very first thing that I'm, I wanna to talk to you about is cash flow. How do you know if a property is going to cash flow or not. So the first thing is you're gonna to wanna to hit get properties hitting your email inbox every single day. Now, how do you do that? That is hitting up uh, realtors and real estate agents inside the market that you're wanting to invest in. And I always highly suggest you uh, invest out of state unless you are in a, in a in a city that is one of the top markets for uh, rental properties. Hey guys, I need you to do me a favor. Hit that like and that subscribe button down below my wife doesn't, she doesn't hit the like, and I'm pretty sure she's the one trolling me with some dislikes. So if you could, we need to drown her out. Hit those like buttons and hit that subscribe button because she's also not subscribed to me. So if you could, please just go do that for me. I really appreciate it, thanks. Oh, also, please hit that notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you can be alerted whenever I upload a new YouTube video. So you don't have to, you don't miss out on any of these uh, useful tips I'm providing on this YouTube channel. So whatever city that you decide that you want to start investing in real estate, uh, you need to call real, realtors and real estate agents inside those cities and basically just get up, get set up with the automatic email listing. What does that mean? That means whenever you call the realtor real estate agent, you're going to tell them your, how many beds or the maximum beds you want, the maximum baths you want, the maximum square or the minimum square feet you want, and the maximum home price that you want. So when you do that, you're gonna start getting emails every single day possibly every single hour like I do, with properties hitting the MLS, the realtors are sending these deals to your inbox and you can decide on if they have cash flow. Um, you can hit up your realtor real estate agent if it has equity. So when you get these properties hitting your uh, email inbox, what you're gonna do is just take that address, put it in Zillow.com and that's gonna bring up how, what the monthly cost is uh, for a certain amount of down payment. So stay with me because this is exactly how you're going to find if it's a right deal for you or not. So you're gonna be in Zillow.com, you're gonna scroll down, it's gonna tell you the monthly cost of, uh, of the property, you know, the mortgage, uh, depending on interest rate, down payment, et cetera. And then you're going to take that address, put it in rentometer.com. The link is gonna be in the description down below. And you're, you're gonna be able to find out what rent you're gonna be getting for that type of property in that neighborhood. Then once you get that, that number, the rent that you can get for that property, you're going to then take that and put it against the monthly cost of whatever Zillow gave you. And whatever you're left with that is, that, that's your cash flow. Yes, there's maintenance, expenses, uh, vacancy, repairs, whatever, every, everything that goes into owning a rental property, um, but that, that's if you go down the straight rental, uh, rental property path. Now, what I teach people is the lease option path. And if you want to, you can scroll into my videos and you can see uh, what a lease option is uh, and, and against a rental property and how a lease option kind of does a lot better than a, uh, than a rental property, normal rental property. So the next step in finding the right deal in real estate is you're gonna wanna find out if there is equity inside this property. So how do I find out if there's equity inside this property? I get asked this all the time on my Instagram, on the Facebook group, I get asked this, all the time. How do you find equity? So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is when you find a property that cash flows, yes, you need to find out if the property cash flows or not first because depending on the cash flow you get in the property, you can kind of you know give and take a little bit on the equity if there's not a lot or if there is a ton of equity. What you're gonna to want to do is once you find out if this property cash flows, you're going to ask the realtor real estate agent to run a CMA or comps on this property. And what what that does is when they take that property, they take all the details, how many bed, bath, uh, square footage, uh, the date that the other properties have sold. And so what realtors do is they're gonna bundle this all up and they're going to give this to you and be like, here, here's all the properties that I've sold in the last 12 months for uh, this price, this price, this price, this price. It's gonna tell you the address so you can do some due, due diligence and make sure that all the comps are accurate and I highly suggest that. 
always review the realtor real estate agents numbers whenever you're running a comp or whenever they're they're running a comp or a CMA then whenever they do that it's gonna tell you the average sales price of all these properties that have sold in the last 12 months then you can pretty well be sure that the property that you're going to buy could also sell for that price so what does that mean exactly? So take the price, say say you found this property for $100,000 and the average sales price for all these properties, the, the comps that your, uh, your realtor real estate agent is giving you is $150,000 and you're gonna, you can buy this property for $100,000. Yes, there's a bunch of other things that go into it whenever it comes to repairs, how updated this property looks, etc. But you can pretty well uh, have a good estimate that there's $50,000 worth of equity inside that property. Now let's move on to if a tenant is going to be renting out your property or not. It's super simple. If you go into rentometer.com and you find out that this property is on average renting for $1,000 a month, on average, and you go in there and you rent out this property for $800, assuming that it's still cash flows and that there's equity inside this property, if you're renting it out below what the average is, you are going to get people renting your property. Especially if the property looks like it's up to date, it's well maintained, it's cared for, it's clean, it's in a great neighborhood, then that's how you know if the property is gonna rent or not. I'm gonna give you an example of my very first property, Indianapolis, Indiana. Whenever I was marketing this property, it was in great shape, it was clean, it was in a good neighborhood. I had 4,000 people, individual people, messaged me on my Facebook because I was marketing it on Facebook Marketplace. I had 4,000 people messaging me like, what are the requirements to get inside this property? That's, a, that's the right deal for you and for me. This is how you know if a property is the right deal for you or not. Also, it kind of depends on, on some personal preferences because if you or more of an equity position type of person, you're gonna be wanting these 20 to 30 to 40% equity positions and you know, lower cash flow doesn't really bother you because you have this equity position. For, for me, in my experience, cash flow is king for me. I would much rather have a cash flowing property for four to $500 a month and have you know five to ten to fifteen percent equity position in that property that's what i would rather have so it all depends on you know personal preference and you might want both you might want 20 to 25 percent equity position and then you might want 400 and 500 in cash flow and that's totally okay you're gonna have a, a lot fewer options when it comes to buying the properties but they will come and when they come you better be ready to act you better know your numbers you better put the fear out of your mind when you're going to buy your first property or even your second and third as you're going on fear doesn't leave it's always there but you know that you can overcome this fear each and every property after the first one. The first one is the hardest. But I just want to hop on here really quick and let you. Uh, but I want to hop on here really quick and let you guys know uh, how to find that right deal in real estate because the right deal for me, the right deal for you, the right deal for someone else, it might be different, but are all kind of the same, and we're all looking for those home run deals. There's gonna be a video popping up over here or it's gonna be over here about how I'm making over a thousand dollars every single month, uh, even with this COVID-19 stuff that is going on with my side hustles. So let's go check out that video if you wanna go make over a thousand dollars a month. I use these side hustles personally, so I know they work, I know they can work for you, and I know you can make that thousand dollars or more every single month. So go check that out. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.